just prior to Katrina, we were on a great growth path. We just accepted our largest, most prestigious qualified freshman class. Bang, storm hits, and we're really wondering how we're gonna keep business going. Mike Britt and Robert Morton run Tulane University's Document Services Center. Their print facility serves more than 10,000 students and 4,000 faculty and staff across two major campuses and two research sites. When Hurricane Katrina struck New Orleans in August of 2005, the reliability of both their equipment and their business relationships was tested. Some buildings had three feet of water in them, and because it had sat for so long, mold had grown all over everything. By the end of September, school officials operating out of makeshift offices in Houston announced Tulane would reopen for the spring semester as scheduled on January 17th. And so our challenge was then to provide the print needed for admissions, financial aid, the registrar, the payroll, payroll the, main, the main groups that needed that basic print. Before the storm, Tulane had been testing Xerox 5500 printers. Mike and Robert thought these smaller machines, capable of printing from the mainframe, might be the answer. So the decision was made to come back to New Orleans to pick up the unit that was in the building. Now we knew it had been sitting in an inch or two of water and had been a human environment, but we knew where it was and we could get to it quickly. And I don't remember who actually picked it up. Was that the network guys? I think we had, um, we didn't have certified movers. They weren't official Xerox movers. And as they were driving it to Houston, they were finding it was rolling around a little bit. So somebody had the idea, well, let's just flip it on its side. It'll at least stop rolling around. So it flipped on its side, brought to Houston. When we set it up there, it worked. It ran in Houston for uh, about three months. It then got moved back to New Orleans. It has run almost 800,000 impressions since then and with a very limited service history. I think we've had one service call on that particular machine. So you're still using it? We're still using yes. it today. They're still looking pretty good. Excellent quality. I knew our equipment was good. I knew the 5500, and we have an endearing term when someone says, is it reliable? We say it's bulletproof. I knew it was good, but the proof there was in the pudding. Xerox account manager for Tulane, Gary Harden, managed to track down his customers almost immediately following the storm. Our Xerox team is, is first rate, and they got in touch with me and you in Houston separately and we went to work. With Tulane's workforce scattered, Xerox shipped more 5500s to outposts in Virginia and elsewhere. And we brought all those printers back and they're all in service. So of the six printers, we've had about three service calls and they've done a little over three million impressions. I don't think we ever built the Tulane Xerox partnership with the idea that we'd have to suffer through any event like this. But it was a good partnership going in, and the relationship has been strong enough that it's not only survived, but prospered. Part of it's equipment, a lot of it's the people, the support. You know, it's great to know when times are tough that some of the things that could get in your way don't. That's good right there. We're in the process of uh, refreshing the 5500 and bringing out the 5550 and in appreciation for the ongoing business, we've presented Tulane the first production run, brand new 5550, that they're going to put almost immediately in their financial aid department. And thus we have the 5550. Tulane is a very rich community. It's 170 years old, and it's been a remarkable story to date. Um, the university's definitely on track for recovery.